my goodness I'm just here right now it's it's drizzling it's been sort of like rainy rainy all day not necessarily all day when I came the rain has stopped and I came down to my office and uh, when I came out of the office it was sort of like rainy and I decided to I decided to just just come here and just have some snacks I just ate my Big Mac and all of that we are just about to go catch the train and start going home and I just decided to do this you understand for me one thing is very key and that thing is the fact that we just have to do everything we can to make Nigeria work and I'm one person whom I'm ready to put in the work that's what I always say to people when I started saying that uh, Nigeria must work in our lifetime, it was actually due to the fact that there are a lot of people. Uh, no, no, it's not New York, it's, it's DC, it's actually Washington DC. And that uh, there are a lot of uh, people, especially my own generation and a bit older, who always, whenever you talk about Nigeria, they in a very in a very dismissive manner we say to you oh nigeria can't work oh nigeria can never work nigeria cannot work in our lifetime oh that kind of like are you guys kidding me why wouldn't nigeria work if you're putting in the work why would nigeria work and one of the things that i came to realize is the fact that a lot of people they would rather say nigeria will not work because when they do that then there's no burden of duty on them for them to make it work i don't know if you understand what i mean so it's very easy for somebody to just say, ah, Nigeria will not work. Eh? When you just say Nigeria will not work. Eh? Now, so something that will not work, um, there's really no need for you to actually put in your all to make it work. Or you need to... No, New Jersey, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm coming to New Jersey. I'm here to actually do some work. I'm here to do some research. So it's not as, I'm not on holiday. That's the thing. I, I left work campaign and came immediately to, to come and do work. Uh, over here also so it's not it's not as if um, then if you say Nigeria doesn't work then there's no burden on you to make sure that it works but if you say Nigeria will work a hand there so there's an expectation on you so there's a burden of expectation on you for you to make it work and so when I just keep hearing people say that I say no Nigeria must work in our lifetime why are you telling me that Nigeria will not work as far as I'm concerned I'm gonna put in the work I Oh, this place, okay, there's a bus stop here. Well, I should just take this metro, but I don't even know which direction this one they go. Well, there's the one that goes to my place, let me just take it. Anyway, like I was saying, so for me, it's, it's always been like, okay, so make it work, put in the work, doing, doing the thing, do the thing that needs to be done for the work to be done. For me, that's what is most important, that's what is most key. And these things are really not... I mean, they are not, it's not, it's not rocket science, honestly, it's not rocket science. It's all about uh, leadership. It's all about wanting it to happen. It's all about saying, I want to see this thing happen in my country and it can happen. And I always give example. Uh, for example, once upon a time, we were told that, um, let me turn this camera a bit so that you see my face. Once upon a time, we were told that, uh, uh, what was it called, that mobile phone is not for the poor. And a whole lot of us, we believed it. We believed the fact that mobile phone is not for the poor. And even then, I remember they would be telling us things like uh, in Ghana, that a lot of people were using, how do you call it, cell phone, even like people who were selling things. I mean, ordinary people had cell phone. Uh, cobblers, shoe shine, all of those people, they had cell phone. It, it looked almost like magic, magic to our ears. We're like, okay, how is that possible? That bus is actually going my way. That's it's going to where I'm going to. Anyway, I'll go and take the train. I have option. And okay, so it looked almost like you know impossible that uh, uh, that uh, had, what, what, what else that that somebody ordinary people can actually have cell phone. I remember in 1998 when uh, I got married to my husband. There was this his colleague in office. Uh, okay, well, my husband is a. Uh, it's a, it's, an, it's a chartered accountant. He has been a chartered accountant for like almost, it's going to 40 years now, right? 
almost like 37 years of being a chartered accountant. So when I married him, he was an auditor. He used to travel all over Nigeria to go and audit. There were these NGOs they used to work for. And there were these foreigners. There was this Irish man that was his friend. And his son, he had a teenage, like a, a young adult. And he'd be telling my husband that, oh, you know, in UK, all you need to do to get a mobile phone, just buy a SIM card, you just enter a uh, shop and buy it. I'm also like, <laughs> you know that kind of thing now. We're like, hmm, see this small boy, they whine us, me. It they whine us, how they do that, how they do that song, it they whine us. So, you know, that's how we felt. And, but that was the reality because we had been told in a way that this was, was not something that people could get. And there was, uh, and there was this, uh, 090. <laughs> if you had that 090, you were like the one percent of the one percent. We're the ones who own that 090. And I think even people for you to even get that, you had to like put is it like a C of O and stuff like that. Made it very hard to get. But see what it took. Almost nothing. Just some policy change. It didn't cost the government anything. In short, government even made money from it. I think they they paid 250 million uh Dollars, I was it back. I've been there. I was in there or dollars. I think it was dollars 250 million that they pay for them. All those MTN, Econet. What was the other one? How many of the uh, night was giving their own MTN? I never got anywhere. There was MTN, there was Econet, right? What was the other one? I think they were three. I can't remember now. And then <laughs> this is my phone. Eh? It's somebody called collector for my hands. They're more, they go see Chris. I'll carry a dog madness here. You know, because I'm used to like where I grew up, I'm always thinking when I'm holding my phone like this, I'm always thinking somebody will come and take it away from me. Even throughout all the campaign, when I'm doing my this thing, video and all of that, I'm always mindful of the fact that somebody can come and take this thing away. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So it didn't cost the government anything. All it did, they even actually made money out of it. And yet people now got that opportunity to have this. So it's the same thing with all of these things. When you see these things happening, it's not rocket science. It's not as if, oh, it's one big deal. Come on, man. It's no big deal. It's just sitting down and working and just ensuring that your people also enjoy the things that you enjoy. It's just about caring. It's just about wanting to do it. It's so freaking annoying when you see these selfish human beings that we call leaders. They come here, they enjoy the best of the best, and yet they can't even give their people the same thing. How pathetic can that be? Can you imagine? My battery, I didn't charge my phone. I didn't charge my phone. All throughout in the office, I didn't charge my phone. Anyway, it said, it's telling me that battery is too. I might still go off, sir. But then, let me rant before I go off. You understand? They will not, they will just sit down. They will not give you this. They can't even just think about, let them do something good and nice for their own people so that their own people can enjoy, so that their own people can have a dignified, kind of life aren't we sick and tired of being like known as a poor nation aren't we sick and tired hi how are you aren't we sick and tired of having a nation that it's not amongst the most developed in the world we have everything yes we might not have started some people might say okay these people started way ahead of us but hello there's something called ope other people's experience can't we learn 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 from them what's so difficult in just doing the right thing what's so difficult in doing the right thing that's why for me honestly hello i'm not wearing my glasses so i'm unable to see a lot of the message i can't even see any of the messages that it's been written i'll soon be going off shot so if i'm not if i'm not replying no verse now my eyes i can't see anything uh, how can I talk to you privately? Very important. Yeah, send me an email. You can always use my name at gmail.com. Aisha is for gmail.com. That's my email. You can always send me uh, an email. I don't have the time because I'm really here doing research work. I'm doing my fellowship. So I might not have time to do a lot of work, a lot of talking. But just send me an email. We'll see. Take the conversation uh, from there. Please, it's not, if it's not very serious, please, please, please. I really need to concentrate and get this thing done. Uh, <sighs> honestly it's so and i've been sitting here just waiting for for the rains to go down they've subsided it's just drizzling a little bit the train station is down there uh oh yeah you're welcome and so so for me it's oh anytime i travel the first time i traveled out of nigeria was in the year 2000 
and that was i went to dubai so for me that was my first business i did i used to go to dubai to go and buy things and sell in nigeria and it, i was so annoyed at the fact when i went out and dubai in 2000 and dubai today they are two different things they have grown and grown and grown and grown and grown and yet we we have rather been going backward i was so angry at the fact that look see see people's nation see how they are we we are there they will just be treating us anyhow Ah, uh, on our mandate, we're fighting for our mandate. We're going to get our mandate by, by the grace of God. We'll keep going. What we need to do, we pressurize the judiciary. We, we put pressure on it. We'll not allow them, you know, just, oh, sorry about that. I had to, let me just start going to the station. We'll not allow them just get away with everything the way they think they, they will. So, let's yeah, just keep walking. Oh, this looks a bit odd as I'm walking. As I'm walking, like, it looks odd that I'm walking and, and talking. I'll end it. I'll soon end it. So that's what we'll keep doing, shall let's, let's let's keep let's keep doing this. Let's keep doing this. Honestly, uh, a whole lot of you, please, 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 as much as possible, try and get into labor party. Try and get into uh, buy take pick up membership cards. Get into office. Begin to train yourself for leadership. Begin to uh, learn. There's this school of uh, SPPG, School of Politics, Policy and Governance. Please enroll yourself. Know how to what it is to be a leader, uh, get that required competence and everything, run for office. We need to have people with competence, character and capacity in office. We need to have people who respect Nigeria in office. We need to have people who love Nigeria in office. We need to do so much. So please, 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 everyone, hands on deck. We must not hand over this Nigeria to our children, our grandchildren. I was some, for some of us, it's already too late. But, but, like I always say to my mom, I'm going to do the work. I will never allow my children to be the ones fighting for a good Nigeria. I will fight for that good Nigeria and allow them enjoy the good Nigeria we would have fought for. So please, let's all have hands on deck. Don't, don't, don't worry. See, we must be as ten. Good must be as tenacious as evil. Stop giving up and say, oh, because it didn't work at this, I'll give up for what. We are here. We'll continue to fight it. We'll continue to fight the system for good. I will continue to ensure that we get the Nigeria where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody. Thank you so much. Bye. So that the last thing you see is not my it's not my face anyhow. Thank you. I'm Guy Ham. Thank you everyone. Just stay motivated. We are doing this. We are doing this. We will get our country back. We will look back. There will be a generation, you know, understand that will look back and say ah, and be thanking us that we didn't give up, that we stood when it mattered. God bless you all, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye.